Now we are going to send our file that we have prepared to the actual cutter. In order to do that, we're going to go to the left hand uh, corner and we're going to click on File and go down to Send to Silhouette and we come up with our output menu. Now we have some settings already set, but I'm going to go uh, show you how to do this. It's asking what media you're going to actually be cutting. And I'm going to select Silhouette Vinyl. It knows it has a backing sheet on it. And it also knows that we need to have the blue tip put on the cutter. With Silhouette, we have one cutting blade. And we have three tips that we can um, screw on and screw off, depending on what type of media we are cutting. So the blue tip is the most shallow tip, and within that each tip it has a range of um, thickness or a depth that we can cut. Okay, the first number that they're asking us to adjust is the speed, and the speed relates to the transfer of data. Now if you transfer your data too fast, the silhouette may sit, once you transfer, send it to the cutter, it may sit for a while and and get its bearings um, and it can also uh, stop within the cutting. It can start cutting and stop and kind of reorganize itself and catch up again and go. So this is a good number to uh, get a handle on. I have a really old machine and uh, I only have a 32-bit driver so I send my data pretty slowly um, between 3 and 4. I'll leave it at 3. This doesn't seem to affect my cutting time, but it does affect the fact that it won't stop before it begins and it won't stop in the middle and, and extend my cutting time. Now the next number they're asking us to adjust is our thickness. And this is a really important number. When cutting vinyl, you don't want to cut your vinyl so deep that you cut the backing sheet. Because when you do this, it makes your weeding process and your transferring process very difficult. So your desired outcome is to cut a nice clean line with your vinyl and only score the backing. So this um, number can be adjusted pretty easily. I usually cut at thickness 4. Um, but one nice option here is you can uh, do a test cut. So you can pick a number and go do a test cut and then look at that vinyl and see if you're scoring the back sheet or if you're actually cutting through the back sheet and you will be able to determine pretty quickly with your machine what you will need to do and this is a good number to remember so okay now we've adjusted all of our numbers we're ready to send it to the silhouette so we'll click on send to silhouette come back to our original page and it does say Number four is to cut page. Before I click on this, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the recorder and go ahead and cut my page. I'm in a small room and it's a little noisy. So we'll cut the page off recorder and we'll come back and we'll go ahead and weed our design and transfer it and get it on our final 9 by 12 tile. Hi, I'm not sure exactly how much detail you can see, but the monogram has been cut on this piece of vinyl. Now our next step is to weed the design, and that is the process of removing all the excess vinyl from around the outside of the design and within the design, so all that's left on the backing paper is your monogram. The first step I'm going to take is I'm going to turn the vinyl, vinyl side down and I'm going to use a ruler, you can use a credit card or a squeegee. I'm going to start at the top of the design and apply pressure all the way to the bottom and I'll do that a couple of times. And I'm also going to do it from side to side. And this kind of ensures that the pieces of the design that we want to stay on the backing will stay as we're doing our weeding process. Now when I weed, I use actually an embroidery needle or a darning needle. I'm, I'm familiar with this tool and to me it's a lot less cumbersome than some of the others that are available. When I weed, I start in the upper right hand corner or upper left hand corner and I lift the vinyl and pulling it close to the design, I'll pull it down to the lower right hand corner. 
I do this because it exposes a lot less of the sticky vinyl as you're removing it, as opposed from going lifting the whole side and going from side to side or the whole top and trying to pull it to the bottom. So I'm going to lift up my vinyl and I'm going to pull it close to the design. I guess we'll go around it. Okay, so we've got the excess. You can see that the outermost frame has been exposed. And we have a very small piece in between two frames. And I'm going to lift that. Again, I'm going to pull it to the lower right hand corner. You can see how easily, when your vinyl is cut well, how easily it removes. Okay, I'll lift the next piece. You'll see that we're starting to make some progress here. And I'm going to go ahead and continue weeding off camera because it takes a little bit of time and I'll be back for our next step. Okay, as you can see our beautiful monogram has been completely weeded and we're now ready to apply our transfer paper. When I cut my transfer paper, I cut it about the original size of the piece of vinyl that we used. I then kind of bend the transfer paper in half vertically, sticky side down, and I apply it to the design, about in the half of the design. I put the pressure down and let half of the transfer paper fall at a time, applying pressure, and then the other half. This is the best way I have found to put the transfer paper onto the design with no wrinkles or bubbles in it. At this point again we're going to take our ruler and apply pressure from top to bottom and from side to side. This assures that the vinyl that's left in the design is going to stick to that transfer paper when we go to remove it from the backing sheet. Now before I go any further at this point I like to put some markings on my design that align with some of the markings that are on my tile. And those, when I line those up, it allows me to center my design vertically and horizontally on my tile. This is a great time to do these markings because once you've removed the vinyl from the backing sheet, it's very hard, um, it's sticky and it's very hard to mark the centers. So I marked the very center of my design at the top and the very top of my design because that's where I have the markings on my tile. Okay, now that that's done, I cut away the excess transfer paper from the outside of the design so we'll get rid of all the stickiness on the outside here. Trying to leave a lot of markings at the top. Okay. And there we go. Okay, now we're ready to take the design off of the backing sheet. To do this, we turn our design over with the backing sheet up, and I pull the backing sheet away from the transfer paper. Seems to work best for me. Again, I'm going to start in my upper left-hand corner, pull closely to my design to the lower right-hand corner. I advise you to go slow in this process. Sometimes pieces of the vinyl don't want to uh, stick to the transfer paper, and um, this can cause a loss of design, or you can possibly tear your vinyl. So move slowly. So here I go. I'm going to get that backing sheet and pull. You see that I'm... I'm actually right on top of the design. And if a piece doesn't want to come and it wants to stick to the backing, all you have to do is roll your backing sheet back down onto the um, transfer paper, apply some pressure, and come back. So I'm going to continue this as in this corner right here. I'm going to show you. And it lays right down. So I'm going to continue this process off camera and we'll be back when we're ready to put it on our tile. Okay. 
Now we're ready to put our design onto our tile. I have marked my tile and I take my monogram now and I again kind of bend it in half and leave it so that I can see the very top line of that monogram and I match up the center part points and where the top line should be and I just kind of tack down those spots And then I carefully remeasure and make sure that I hit my mark. Oh, this vinyl is very forgiving, so if you only lay down a little bit, you can reposition. That's good. That's good. Good. Okay, we're good to go. So now I just pull up the bottom of the design and I apply pressure all the way down as I lay it down. And now the sticky side of the vinyl is stuck to the tile. And now all we have to do is remove our transfer tape, and we're going to do it the same way we've always removed. Top, or, top left corner, close to the design, down to the lower left hand corner, or right hand corner, sorry. Moving kind of slowly, you see that some pieces lifted. Go back, apply some pressure. This is the fun part. Okay. Now I have a, my design on my tile centered and we're ready to go. In the tile you just um, can use some water and remove your marks and no one knows the difference. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.